Hello everyone, uh, my name is Noah and you are welcome to my YouTube channel, okay? So please, if you have not subscribed to my channel already, please kindly do so. And please don't forget to smash the like button and do share this video with your friends and family members, okay? So um, I want to respond to some questions. Uh, that was asked uh, in my channel and today I'll be focusing on Canada uh, to study in Canada and specifically at the Memorial University of Newfoundland in Canada. So I have a few questions that I want to respond to in today's video. Meanwhile, I have already uh, done a video about studying at the Memorial University in Canada. So if you have not seen that video, please kindly check it out in my YouTube channel and I think you'll find a lot of important information that will help you to make informed choices towards your application. Also, I have various videos uh, already um, in different countries about how you can study in Europe. For example, I have video uh, in, in Lux about Luxembourg about Belgium, Austria, Hungary, and the Czech Republic. So please check them out. And the tuition fees in these countries mentioned are quite very, very affordable. And in some instances, actually, it's free, okay? So back to the aim of today's video. So I want to respond to some question that was asked by people, my subscribers, whom I value so much. Uh, the, this question we asked in my channel. So the first one is about uh, the proof of English proficiency at Memorial University of Newfoundland. So the person wanted to know if you required to have evidence of English language proficiency when applying to study at this university. And now, so based on my latest research about this particular uh, question, um, it's stated in the school official website, uh, and it was very, uh, it's clear that, that it's, clear, it's clearly stated there that, that uh, students who have completed secondary schooling, an undergraduate degree, or a graduate degree at a recognized institution where the language of instruction is English are not required to take an English language proficiency test. So if you have studied previously, maybe in high school or undergraduate level or postgraduate level, and the language of instruction in that your previous uh, education was English, then you do not need to uh, provide any evidence of English language proficiency test. However, if the institution in question is located outside of Canada uh, or United States, you advise as an applicant, as a potential student, to, to provide a document, maybe a transcript or a kind of a letter from your university stating the language of instruction is English or was English when you were studying those programs. Okay, so you need to provide some form of evidence from your previous school that the language of instruction in those previous uh, education was English. Okay, so and you should be able, you should try to upload this uh, proof from your previous school while making online application. So in summary, if you have studied previously with English language, you do not need to provide any evidence of English language proficiency test. However, you need, you need to get some kind of proof in form of a letter or transcript from your previous school that will indicate that you actually studied with English language in that previous education. Okay, I hope that's clear. And the second question was from someone who was asking me about payment of tuition fees at Memorial University of Newfoundland. The person wanted to know if it is per semester or per year. Now the answer is straightforward. You pay per semester at Memorial University of Newfoundland. School fees are paid per semester and not per year. 
okay and another question i want to respond to here is about uh, the person want to know in uh, how many semesters does memorial university have in academic year so and this is the response the answer to that question so memorial university has three semesters per academic year as a standard uh, mode of you know operation at that university they have three semesters per academic year the first one is four semester which uh, start from september until around december and then they have winter semester from january to april and then spring semester from may to august i said again fall semester from september to december and winter semester from january to april and then spring semester from May to August. So that's three semesters per academic year, right? So uh, finally, please always check the university website for admission related information, which may change from time to time. The university can update their information, processes, procedures. So always uh, make the habit of always check this website for any uh, updated information. And do not hesitate to contact the admission department of the university or any other university of your interest about any specific questions related to application processes or admission at the, those various institutions okay the video is just a guide to help you in the admission process to give you some important vital summarized information that will help you to make an informed decision however it's not absolute i would also advise you to check the school websites if you if you if you realize in my videos i do put the website of various institu various institution below my channel so that you can check them out and maybe have more information that may not be covered in the video okay so once again don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel share this video with your friends and family members and drop your question below the comment section I try my best to respond to every question asked in my channel as fast and as soon as I see them, okay? And don't forget, please, 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 please keep supporting my channel uh, by sharing this video with your friends and your network, okay? And I'll try my best to bring you guys more content that will help you to make more informed decision okay and of course my instagram uh, link is below this video and of course also my twitter account is also below this video so you can reach me or send me a dm on instagram or twitter uh, if you have any other specific question you want to reach out to me feel free to do so okay so thank you and you have a great day but don't forget in all that you do always give it a human face i am the human investor thank you and bye for now. Catch ya. Bye.